Mm -hmm. uh, warnings to the respondent. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, a violation of provisions one through six of this order with actual notice of its terms is a criminal offense. Yep. Yeah. Will subject you to an arrest. Uh, RCW 26.50. Mm -hmm. If the violation of the protection order involves travel across a state line or in the boundary of a tribal jurisdiction, uh, involves conduct within the special maritime and territorial jurisdiction in the United States, yeah, which includes tribal lands, you may be subject to criminal prosecution in federal court under 18 U.S. Code 2261. Yeah. Now, uh, these protections of the provisions 1 through 6, yeah. 17 mm -hmm, or 18 of this order is a gross misdemeanor unless one of the following conditions apply. Yeah. Any assault that is a violation of this order and that does not amount to assault in the first degree or second degree under RCW 98.36.010 or 98.36.021 is a class C felony. I can actually go to prison. Now, obviously, I have no intention of committing any sort of assault against my sons. Yes. But um, this relationship to the victims known as Zachary, Bishop, Deacon, Maximilian, and Benjamin. Yes. See, uh, it's the relationship where there was the allegation of child abuse. <laughs> well, I did seven hours of parenting classes while on Guam. Yes. I got evaluated. Right. My record was expunged in July. Yes. And Guam has no uh, territorial statute of any child being able to admit any evidence mm, of domestic violence or child abuse. <laughs> now, I would say since the arrest took place on Guam, yes, Jessica's uh, eyewitness declaration of what she witnessed on Guam, yes, was not admissible as a declaration. <clears throat> Since the arrest took place in the territory of Guam, every declaration of Jessica Lee Hodges at 14 years old, yes, is not admissible on the United States territory. Oh, oh, oh. So your justification for issuing a protection order in 2011? Yeah. Where Jessica said, well, my dad was crazy. He was talking to the television. Oh, you know... I remember once, yes, that the deceased George Bush, mm -hmm. it had been said, had spoken to his television. Ah! Now, let's see. My blind daughter gave an eyewitness report <clears throat> to the court, but the jurisdiction of the arrest and the allegation was on Guam. <clears throat> now, I did, well, obviously, the declarations of my non-biological stepdaughter were never in <laughs> 